Today's video is not sponsored by anyone, but is dedicated to Soundtracks. Soundtracks is new TSU-PNP with eight light outputs on it. It's an incredible product. I have installed no less than a hundred Tsunami 2s over the past year or so, and I'm very pleased with their performance overall. If you ever need help, Josh is simply a phone call away. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Larry here with Creaky Chair Models. Uh, today's demo is a fully self-contained servo driving an NJ International um, grade crossing. One of the things I did is I changed the pivot hole where the uh, arm goes to the top, and that allows a more vertical movement. Um, I still haven't gotten it exactly at... Um, you know, 90 degrees from, I'm sorry, 180 degrees from the surface, but I drove around town, and a few of them are candid like this. I do have a little more adjustment I can make in the code, so it'll probably be a little bit closer, but um, it's powered by an Arduino, go figure. Uh, there's two servo outputs here. There's lamp outputs here that I have hooked up to connectors. I did not turn the lamps on because it tends to wash out everything and you can't see what's going on. The sensors are these little boards here. These two photovoltaic cells will be remoted out and put in between the tracks. I have done this and run them 12 feet with no difference in effect. These sensors have an analog and a digital out for you Arduino guys. The digital out seems to work across a broad range and um, I'm really comfortable with it. I've darkened the room in here once I got them set and they work great. I'm going to be doing another video in a week or so on a couple of different types of sensors and things that I've done with them so get ready for that. But yeah you just simply snip those wires, attach a wire to them, solder it, heat shrink and then um, hook them up on there. I'm going to experiment uh, with possibly using two of them. So if you have a, um, a dual um, track layout, that it, either one would toggle it. No promises, but I'll let you know if it works or not in the following video. Ha, teaser. Anyway, it's powered by, right now it's running off the um, USB, but it can run off DCC, DC 6.5 to 30 volts, or... AC 6.5 to 30 volts. This is a little 5 volt regulator. I've covered them before. Yeah, I believe I told you, but it's got two servo outputs. I'll be building another one just like this. And uh, you may have noticed that these are right hand. So I'm going to just simply move the, uh, the sign on the back. Anyway, here's the demo. I'll go ahead and cover sensor. And you see this light came on here on the Arduino. That is um, going to be hooked to a relay, which will turn on the bell. You saw this come down. And they're pretty quiet. Um, you know, given that I'm going to be burying this in the layout because there's no room to mount underneath, you'll never hear it because it's foam. So uh, you can barely hear it, I think, on the video. So what I'll do is then when I cover it and it goes back up, I'll be quiet so you can listen. So anyway, that's the entire demo. I think it's pretty good. Um, I'll be delivering this within a week or so because I have one more of these to build and I've got to make sure they're 100% reliable. So uh, I'll actually put a couple sensors on the layout and let them just go on, on a table and make sure everything works and runs before I go down there. Thought you guys might like seeing it. So this can be done. It's simply epoxied and super glued to it. The wires are actually glued to that arm right there. I did that for a reason, and um, it's kind of complicated. But simply, I'll just cut a small square in this layout, drill a hole in the bottom for the two connectors to go through, and this thing will go down. I'll scenic over the top of it, and you'll probably never know it's there unless he tells you. 
Hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. I'd be happy to share the code, but, if, you know, the base code was from Jeff Bunza. I did have to uh, change it because Jeff's circuit required a low act going, and this actually puts out a high when it's covered. Uh, not a big deal, just four lines. So if you're really interested, my information's here on YouTube. Just reach out to me, or you can reach me uh, via creakychairmodels at gmail.com.